Hello friends, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we'll be learning about how to create a drop-down menu in Bootstrap 4. A drop-down menu is basically a toggleable menu through which you can allow the visitors to select any option, any one option from the list. So you may have seen a drop-down menu on many websites. So let's see how we can create it using Bootstrap 4. So here you can see a default structure is visible for Bootstrap. We have used CDN here. With that, we have used div class is equal to container for a fixed width. After setting the container, now we will start with creating a drop down menu. I'll use the div class is equal to drop down. Drop down class is used. Now I'll close it. Now within that, I'll create a button because a menu has a button. Let's say you need to create a toggleable, toggleable menu as a button. On click of the button, all the list is visible. All the items of a list is visible. That would be your sub menus. For that, we will create a button. Now I'll set drop down toggle class here and an attribute data toggle, which would be set as drop down. Now we will close the button. Within that, you can set, let's say, Java here. Now we will create a drop down menu using the drop down menu class within that now one by one we will add the drop down menu item obviously you know that a drop down menu item a sub menu has a link so that user can click on it and move to that section so we will add link here let's add hash right now here i'll set core java now i'll run it here you can see our drop down is visible because we have set the classes drop down with that we have added a button the color is this because we have added btn info class drop down toggle is visible now here you can see on clicking run our sub menus are visible which we can also say as drop down menu because we have set the drop down menus with two links using a tag so core java and advanced java is visible in this way you can easily create a drop down menu here we have used a data toggle attribute for drop down whereas drop down hyphen toggle class also and to create sub menus we use the drop down hyphen menu class now we will see how we can separate links in a drop down menu for that use the drop down divider class now let's say you need to add a divider below here for that you need to use div and drop down divider class and you need to close this. This will add a line. Now you can set it again. Here now set what you want to add after the divider. Other Java concepts. I'll run it. On working on it, here you can see our divider is visible. Now we will see how we can add a header in drop down menu. For that, use the drop down header class. For that, add a class. Let's say I'll add h4 element, and within that, the class would be drop down header because we need to add the drop down header. Add it for a drop down. Now, let's add code Java here, and within that, the concepts I'll add is Java interfaces. Java packages. Let's remove this and add another heading. Now we have two headings. Let's add multi threading. Now let's add advanced Java as our heading. Within that, let's add so let's JSP and Java Beans. Now let's run it. On running, now here you can see we have added heading in a drop down menu. Like Core Java will have all these things, and Advanced Java as a heading will have all these topics. Now we will see how we can use Active class and Disabled class to enable or disable a menu item. Now, let's say we need to set active for interfaces. 
we will set active here and if we want to disable servlet i'll add disabled here and let's see the difference for us the difference is the same and after running it here you can see java interface is selected and it is shown as active class and servlet looks like disabled the color is changed because it looks like disabled and with a light gray text color now we will see how we can add a drop right menu using drop right menu you can show the drop down menu items on the right side for that use the drop right class and now run it and you can see the icon is changed and it is visible on the right in the same way now we will see drop left class on running it you can see it is visible on the right only because we need to add something to move the element on the right so let's add float right class now the drop down will be visible on the left here you can see because we use the drop left class now let's move on if you need to align the drop down menu to the right you need to use the drop down menu right class here you can see for that let's use it firstly i'll remove this because i want a stable drop down which is visible here now for the right drop down menu to right align it here i'll set drop down menu right class that's it now i'll run it here you can see the difference is not visible so let's add more text to the button to see the difference java concepts for interviews now the button text is this now i'll click on it and you can see on the right the drop down menu is visible java basic concepts for interviews and entrance exams now i'll run it and you can see on the right your menu is visible we have right aligned it using the drop down menu right class in this video we saw how we can work with drop down in bootstrap for how we can create a drop down menu we can separate links in drop down menu using the drop down divider class we also added header like core java advanced java to a drop down menu we also set an active class which gets pre selected and we also disabled a sub menu with that we also change the position of the menu with that we also set the drop left menu so that the icon is shifted to the left and the menu is visible on the left side of the button we also saw how we can align drop down menu to the right let's say you have more than 5 to 6 words in your button text and you want to show the menu on the right for more visibility you can align it on the right side of the drop down menu thank you for watching the video if you like the video kindly share it with others kindly subscribe to our youtube channel stay tuned thank you for watching